Hello everyone, I'm Brittany and this video is about strabismus. So I have a couple of exercises I will show you that will help improve your eye coordination and strength and range of motion. So as far as strabismus, you can call it a lazy eye or cross-eyed, but the medical term is called strabismus. And usually what happens is you're born with it. So I was born with it and around 11 and a half months I had eye surgery and then they gave me glasses and I wore those to about 12 and then around in my 20s late 20s I would say I started having some issues driving at night so things started to become blurry at night so I decided to see an optometrist and I told him about my strabismus. So he gave me um, an ophthalmologist name to go see and see if she can help me out. So I went to them, I've been going to them for several years, and I have to say that the therapy has been the best thing and has made the most improvement for me. So I actually still, in my 20s, I was not able to see depth perception or anything in 3D. So I'm really shocked that I haven't hit anything driving or um, fallen when I've been hiking. But um, I learned that for me personally, I would turn off one eye at a time depending on how far or near an object was so that I wouldn't have double vision. But the therapy has taught me how to team my eyes to work together and use binocular vision, meaning both eyes at the same time, so that I can see depth perception. And for the first time, at around like 30, 31, I was able to detect depth. And I have to say the world is absolutely gorgeous, even more gorgeous than I've ever seen it before. So um, I hope this helps and I definitely encourage you to go see an ophthalmologist. I will go ahead and link my ophthalmologist below so if you want to contact them to see if there's anybody in your area or if you live in my area, I would definitely recommend going to mine because she, she was amazing. So to get started, you first want to work on range of motion. So I have an eye patch here that I'm going to patch one eye. And then you're gonna take an object like a pen, and what you're gonna do is just move it horizontally, following it with your eyes, trying to move it as far each direction as you can. You're gonna do that several times. Then you're gonna move it up and down several times, trying to stretch the eye, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna circle and you're gonna to try to keep following that object around in a circle several times. Then you're gonna take it and do counterclockwise. And you can start off small and then work your way up to a large circle. Then what you're gonna do is switch the eye patch to the other eye. And then you're gonna do the same thing. So you're gonna take this and move it back and forth, up and down and around, and then around the other direction. Then you'll take the eye patch off and you'll try to move both eyes at the same time. You can't really see what your eyes are doing. You can kind of feel it, but I would suggest videotaping yourself while you do these exercises so you can tell if your eyes are cooperating and moving at the same time, or if you have one eye that doesn't cooperate, you'll know to try to think about moving that one a little bit more. Okay, so that's the basic exercise. The second basic exercise, same thing, you're gonna patch your eye, and we call this convergence and divergence. So you're gonna take your pen, and you're gonna move it closer to your nose, try to touch it, and back out. So to your nose and back out. Do that several times. And then you're gonna switch the patch just like before. And you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna take your object and follow it all the way to the nose and back several times. And then once you got the hang of that, you're gonna take your eye patch off again 
You're going to take your object, you're going to look at it with both eyes, and you're going to try to move them at the same time and back. And move them and back. And when I'm tired or sick, you will definitely see which eye is moving and which eye isn't. So that's to start. So you need to get full range of motion with both your eyes before you can start actually using them together and upgrading. So watch out for my other video. It'll have several exercises with the upgrades um, for you to do at home. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And I hope you have a fabulous day.